Designed with cutting-edge technology, the DTE range of EV charge points are OZEV and SEAI approved and offer a smart, safe and secure charging solution for residential and commercial properties. The 7.4 kW single-phase charge point is a highly flexible EV charging solution and suitable for both new build and existing residential properties. All EV installations should be notified to the local distribution network operator, which can be in advance or after the installation. Furthermore, all installations of DTE charge points should be carried out by a DTE trained installer. Training can be completed on the website and once complete, contact details can be added for end users to access. Upon installation, there are several options available in making the electrical connection. This can either be at the main consumer unit, if spareways in consumer unit and location allows, or by tapping into the incoming supply within the meter cupboard. The wiring regulations require that the supply to the EV charge point is on a dedicated supply and that, in the event of a fault, the protective device isolates all live conductors, both live and neutral. In this instance, while the MCB is single pole, the RCD is double pole and will isolate the circuit in the event of an earth fault. Alternatively, an RCBO could be used, such as a DT unit, which switches both live and neutral. Please be aware that not all RCBOs switch the neutral. On a new build development, 100 amp DNO fuses are often installed, although on occasion it can be 80 amp. Generally, a 100 amp DNO fuse will not require load management to be included at the initial build stage. It may become an issue if significant additional loads are subsequently added and, if necessary, load management can be retrofitted. On a retrofit to an established property, an assessment of the total house load relative to the size of the DNO fuse is required. As many older properties have only a 60 amp DNO fuse, these can be uprated by contacting the local DNO but may be chargeable. Where the DNO fuse is smaller than the potential total load, which would include the new EV charge point, then it may be necessary to reduce the charging current or include load management to ensure the DNO fuse is not exceeded. In many existing properties, adding Henley blocks and a dedicated enclosure to feed the EV charge point is the simplest and most cost-effective solution. However, generally, DNOs do not allow the fitting of a small consumer unit within the meter cupboard. To ensure the charge points are lined up correctly on the property, there is a spirit level inside the unit. On the back plate, there's a guide on the cable strip measurements. The wiring route is very much dependent on the location of the charge point and consumer unit or meter cupboard. Ideally, cables will be hidden within the building fabric and can enter the charge point by the rear of the base module. In many instances, particularly in existing properties, surface fixed cable will be the easier or more practical option and this can enter the base unit, ideally from the bottom or the top. Load management, where required, needs an RS485 cable to be run from the consumer unit or main incomer, depending on where the charge point is fed from. An energy meter and CT clamp will need to be installed. Combined power and data cables, such as UK Cables, Trident Plus and Power Plus 6 range, allow power and data to be installed in one go rather than separate cables. Installation testing should be carried out with the base in situ and prior to the socket being fitted. The functionality of the charge point should then be tested, including the RCD. When the unit is ready to be commissioned, the Autel config and charge apps need to be downloaded. If an internet connection is not available, on a new build site for example, ensure Bluetooth is enabled on your device and you have a 4G connection on your mobile phone. On the app, you'll see the Add button Press it and scan the unique product ID QR code on the product rating label. To verify this unit, you'll need to enter a PIN number under the serial number. This is unique to the charge point and can be found on page 3 of the manual, which should always remain with the unit. It is extremely simple to operate the DTE charge points, and being smart, they have some fantastic features. With the app, it is possible to schedule charges, set auto or delayed starts, add more users, review usage, and more. It is also easy to start and stop charges with an RFID card. DTE has a dedicated help desk where answers have been provided to questions that are frequently asked. 
There are also installer and user support teams, which can be contacted via the help desk, who can assist remotely on technical issues. The charge points have exceptional reliability and consequently come with a market-leading parts and labour warranty, extendable to five years. Should you wish to find out more, please visit the DTE website. Think evolution, electric, environment and energy. Think D to E.